Good morning, essential oilers. Let's talk about peppermint. Peppermint is a fantastic oil and it has a countless number of uses. And for that reason, it is also one of doTERRA's most popular oils. So what can peppermint be used for? Right, headaches and migraines. So peppermint, um, it increases, it stimulates blood circulation and blood flow. So it is a very useful oil to use um, if you are suffering from a headache or a migraine. All you have to do is apply one to two drops and massage it into your temples and at the base of your skull. Make sure you don't get too close to the eyes. Um, my husband, the first time he was suffering a migraine, put it all over and was like massaging it in and then he like sat there going, I can't open my eyes. So just uh, keep that in mind when using peppermint. If it does get a little too strong and you've put a little too much on, um, don't try to wash it off with so soap and water. Use a carrier oil to dilute it. Uh, doTERRA has also used peppermint in their tension blend called Past Tense. Um, now that we have this one, this is my husband's favorite um, go-to for headaches. It comes in a little roller and you can roll it on the temples and he goes up and down the back of the, the, his neck and depending on if it's really bad and in the front here, he will go across the front, um, uh, especially if he's trying to get a good night's sleep. Um, moving on to digestive upset. So peppermint is fantastic for the gut and, and supporting the digestive system. In, anything from bloat to a colic, children and horses, um, uh, heartburn, uh, any kind of digestive uh, uh, uncomfort, um, discomfort I guess is the right word, uh, nausea, motion sickness i mean we used this guy on our family sailing trip um and it was incredible um for uh the few family members that were um did have motion sickness they felt that it worked better and more potent than the conventional um nausea tablets uh what we did in that in that case not only did they take these, so doTERRA makes peppermint beadlets, which all that is, is like a little gel beadlet. Um, it contains a quarter drop of peppermint. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but just to put it in perspective, one drop of peppermint is the, has the uh, medicinal or therapeutic equivalent of 27 cups of peppermint tea so that's one drop is 27 cups of peppermint tea that's a lot of tea you'll have to drink to get the benefit that's in one drop of, of peppermint oil so when you use these oils please keep that in mind don't go lathering them on number one it'll be a waste of oil and number two it'll be total overwhelm um, so anyway quarter drop is in here so you can take one to two or if you're feeling really nauseous you can uh, take three they use one or two um, for their seasickness um, you can pop it in your mouth and you get that kind of and then breathe in through your nose and it kind of gives you that so you're getting the internal as well as the aromatic benefit in that uh, in that sense also what you can do um, is put it's called self-diffusing. You put one drop of peppermint oil in your hands, rub it together, and then cup it over your nose and mouth. Whew, and breathe in deep. Whew. doTERRA has also used peppermint in their digestive blend called Digest Zen. This is also a great um, go-to for, uh, it's got peppermint as well as some other oils like fennel, anise, fruit seed, ginger, all the good stuff for the digestive uh, tract. Uh, then the next uh, use for peppermint is 
any kind of respiratory um, support. So asthma, coughing, um, when you have a flu, if you uh, allergies, uh, any you name it. When you when you are con when your airways are congested, you need to open them up a little bit. Peppermint is fantastic for that. You can use it the same way I just showed you with um, self diffusing, where you cup it over your nose and mouth. Woo, breathe it in, and it just opens everything up. Or you can put it in a diffuser at night if you are if you are sick or you have allergies or for the kids if they have kids are always bringing home germs and st stuffy noses put it in the diffuser at night for them and it'll just help them breathe and sleep easy uh, doTERRA for that reason has peppermint in their respiratory blend called breathe breathe is great for yes, exactly that what it says. Breathing, easy breathing. So backtracking a little bit, you can, uh, for digestive upset, um, put it topically on your stomach as well, as well as internally, you can massage it onto your belly. Um, and for asthma and cough, um, not only can you diffuse like this, but you can also rub one or two drops into your chest and over your lung um, uh, reflex points. Bad breath. So, peppermints, I guess there's a reason people give peppermints out after dinner. Um, same thing, you can put a drop of peppermint in a, a cup of water or a glass of water. Make sure it's glass or I like to use the stainless steel um, Yeti for my oils because they will leach chemicals out of plastic. So be mindful of that. Um, you can also pop a peppermint beadlet in your mouth uh, for that minty freshness of your breath. Uh, the next uh, top use is low energy and mental fog. Now this is one of my personal favorites to use peppermint for. So I am a definite um, candidate for that afternoon slump. Especially when it's hot outside and you, you've you just had a lunch and you're sitting, you're taking five minutes to just kind of decompress, getting up again and getting that motivation up and going and tuck, tuck, tuck is, it, I need help with that. And especially during the horse show season when my classes were late in the, in the afternoon, sometimes four or five o'clock, which would be the time that we'd be... Um, you know, kind of winding down um, to kickstart my brain and make me sharp and focus and, 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 you know, ready for competition, I would take two of these, two of my, we back to our little cool gel friends here, um, as well as self-diffuse the peppermint because I did need that, whoo! Now, peppermint is adaptogenic, which means it can kind of like adapt to your needs. So, yes, it can be stimulating and invigorating when you need it to be, that mental clarity. But if you need it at bedtime to diffuse when, when you are needing a little more respiratory help, it can also be calming. So it's not like if you put it in your kid's diffuser at bedtime that they're going to be bouncing off the walls. Not at all. I know it's a little bit of a weird concept to understand, but once you've tried it, that's the best way to understand it. Um, then muscle joint and pain. Peppermint is fantastic from it, for its menthols, that tingly sensation. Uh, peppermint is a great use pre and post workout. So pre workout for all my athletes out there, you can self diffuse. Um, open up those airways so you've got your, your lungs at maximum capacity. Um, you can massage it into, into your muscles, already get the blood circulation stimulated uh, and flowing and ready to go. Post-workout, you can put it, uh, massage it one to two drops. Um, I would mix it in a carrier oil such as coconut or olive oil. Um, it just goes further, spreads further, it's easier to massage in a bigger area like the whole calf muscle or your traps or your biceps and triceps. Okay, now I'm just throwing random 
muscle words out there. Um, uh, it is also, doTERRA has also put peppermint into their soothing blend um, and their muscle blend, which is called ooh, Deep Blue. Can't get the focus in there. Um, so peppermint is also in that uh, rub. Um, then the other um, top use, number seven, is fevers. So a friend of mine has actually used peppermint to break her her child's fever and she said it was amazing so you can apply one to two drops on the back of the neck if you are using it for kids dilute it um, peppermint is very strong it does have a tingly sensation and it can be burning in the eyes even if I just hold my hands here I can feel feel it just um, coming off my hands so when you use it with kids D dilute that one to two drops in a carrier oil, oil such as coconut, olive oil, almond oil, um, avocado oil. Um, it does not dilute well with water. You can actually, you will actually probably end up streng strengthening the sensation if you try and wash it off with soap and water. So rather wipe it off with a, with a carrier oil. So breaking fevers. Um, which brings me to my point, peppermint is cooling as well. So if you have those hot summer days, um, the doTERRA users like to um, nickname it liquid air conditioning. You can um, take a spray bottle of water, put a few drops of peppermint in there. Um, some like to mix it with a bit of witch hazel and add a little bit of lavender in there. And then you can spray mist yourself. It's nice and cooling. Same thing um, for horses, as you can tell, we are a horse riding family. Um, in the barn, peppermint is the favorite amongst the horses. Um, it is, you can use it um, for colics. You can, um, you know what, let me just take you guys down to the barn and I can show you how to use it um, in and around the barn. So there are several ways we can use uh, <laughs> peppermint in the barn uh, the first thing you got to do is check if they really want it um, I guess Bucky is already before I've opened the bottle said give me some peppermint so this is a very good sign if you see horses licking and chewing trying to lick the bottle being very interested always coming back to the bottle that's a good sign that they uh, like the peppermint and perhaps even need the peppermint so what you can do is put a drop in your hand, wait, and they can lick it out of your hand. Not all horses like to lick lick the oils, and not all oils um, uh, need to be used internally. What you can do then with the residue that is on your hand, once he's done licking it, you can rub it into his chest because he'll still be able to. Their sense of smell is incredibly strong. So he'll still be able to get the benefits of the peppermint from his chest aromatically. Um, you never want to rub it around their muzzle because they can't get away from it when they've had enough and it can be actually very overwhelming for them. So, <laughs> something funky. Um, you want to do there. Um, in, uh, we had talked about peppermint, the use for uh, colic. So what you can do is if a horse is colicking, you can open up the bottom lip like this. Uh, you'll probably need assistance, somebody to hold your horse and somebody to help pour it in. Um, and you can actually put quite a few drops. I would say if the colic is really bad, we do anywhere between five and 10 drops um, into the lip. Or if, uh, if you have digestion, that's even better because it's got peppermint and then some for the digestive tract. Um, I've helped friends with colicking horses um, on two occasions with uh, peppermint and digestion and the results have been very promising. What you can also do um, in, when they are colicky or have any kind of upset or, or are ulcery, any kind of digestive upset is on top of doing the, the topical on the chest and the internal as well as aromatic, you can rub it along their belly like this. 
and again we talked about the potency of the oils so one to two drops doesn't seem like a lot but trust me it goes a long way is that nice Bucky Um, so as I mentioned, you always want to check to see if a horse is interested in the oil. Um, this is an example of a horse not being interested in peppermint. Nope. Doesn't want it. Not at all. Goodbye. It's quite, quite literally leaving uh, the situation. So if a horse shows no interest in an oil like that, he doesn't need it, he doesn't want it, don't force it, walk away. Even if you think you're doing him good by um, supporting his airways and <laughs> uh, his tummy, he clearly uh, has no interest in Pep. Nope, he's like, still don't want it. He is quite literally hiding behind my husband right now. Please don't give me that oil. 